Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. I'm going to talk about this tank a little bit today. So this is my discus display tank, it's in my living room, we're in my living room here. Um, I'm really happy with this tank now, I don't know if you've been following along, but if you have, I've had about kind of six months or so of this tank actually looking really good and being a tank to be proud of. Um, I had lots of trouble with algae, blackbeard algae, hair algae, all kinds of things, mainly due to neglect and things like that. But like I say, for about six months it's been looking pretty good and I've been pretty happy with it. There's one little area that just it hasn't quite come through, so let me show you. It's basically if we look at, so if we look at the tank dead on, I was kind of going for a sloping arrangement and um, to kind of peak on the right hand third and then back down again. And I was hoping this plant here, the, the Rotala I think it is, um, would take on that job, but it's just, it's not establishing as well as I'd hoped. And it's mostly due to one particular fish, I think. I think it's the black ghost knife fish that likes to come in of an evening uh, and uproot it. So when it does get too big and I clip it back and I replant it, I'll come back the next morning and find the plantings or the clippings in the sump uh, because the, the black ghost has uprooted them during the night. So I do want to sort this out. I want to give everything a bit of a trim, but I'm really happy with the way the plants are looking um, and growing in. But I want to give everything a bit of a trim, make it look a little bit nicer and maybe borrow some plants from another tank just to fill in that little gap. So we're going to do a water change. We're going to do some general maintenance. Uh, and that's the plan for today. So this is the tank that I'm thinking of borrowing the plants from. Um, although this is quite a small, short tank, I was trying to do the maintenance on this the other day and noticed that some of the, the plants in here, they're actually curled all the way over and round again. So they're really, really tall. Uh, and the plants that I'm interested in are the vals, so the valison area. And there's also some, and well, I think the vals are actually meant to be Spiralis, which is the spirally valves, but they're actually dead straight, so I think I got sold the wrong ones to start with, but I'm fine with that, straight's fine. Um, there's also another type of crypt in here, it's the... Um, what is it called? It's the Crispulata Balancy. Um, they are the kind of crinkly ones, and again, really long leaves coming off that one, going all the way around. So I think they'll add a lot of impact to the discus tank and get them in that area where I want the height. Um, that'll just kind of fill that out a little bit. So I'll have the three types of tall stem plants there. Um, and hopefully that'll look quite good. So I'll have a, I'll have a little, 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 I'll have a look at getting these out. So as an example, if I pick some of these at random, we can take the leaves out and see how tall they're coming up, so they will definitely fill out the discus tank. Ah, I've just broken that one, but yeah, look at that one. That's taller than me. Um, one of the crypt leaves here as well, so hopefully that will do the job that I want it to do and it will all look quite good. So I'll get these out and I'll let you have a look at them. So if I can just kind of tease the roots out, that's one of the smaller ones, that's the, the Crispulata, and you can see there the kind of texture of the leaves. It's, it's quite an interesting texture. It's got a little bit of red to the colour as well, which always looks good. Um, good root structure there, so what I'll do is I'll clip these roots back, and that should give it at least something to hold on to once it's in the new tank. I just think this is a really good way to kind of make use of your trimmings and your plants. Um, because you know that they're going to be good quality plants if they're, if they're your own and you know that they're not going to get crushed up in the mail or anything like that. So I like doing this sort of thing. It's not just the Scotsman in me. <laughs> I like to save money. So we'll continue pulling out some of these larger ones and I'm just teasing them out. Um, this substrate is it's a, a dirty tank that's capped with sand. So trying not to be too destructive and getting them out. But this tank is due a rescape anyway. And the valves, they are, they are a plant that send off runners. So down at the roots, it'll just send off another one. It'll start growing another plant a few centimetres away. So I'm trying to, where possible, keep all that together and pull them out together. And there's my harvest. That's quite the crop from a little tank like that, isn't it? So, I mean, look at some of these crypts. That's nearly three feet long. So I'll probably have to trim these even once I put them into the big tank. 
but that's it that's quite the harvest i've taken them out and um, we'll get them straight over so they're not too dry or anything and because i'm doing the water change i'm dropping the temperature of the disc tank a little bit so as not to shock them too much either so hopefully they'll do well when we put them in but take them over and we'll put them in the big tank now Right, so I'm going to get them into the big tank now. Um, this is a bit like Inception here. I've got a time lapse going on in one camera. I'm talking to you on this one. But we'll try and get them in. Um, I'll sort all that out in the editing. Um, so we need to take the lights off. I've got all my tools. What I do is generally just pop the lights up on the canopy like that. So then at least I can still see a little bit. And take the lid off. Take this junk out of the way first. And the lid that I've got on this is just like one of those polycarbonate sheets. There'll be a video up in one of the corners if you want to learn about the sheet. But it's just basically keeps the heat in, keeps the condensation down or evaporation. Right, I'll put one of these lights back so we can see what we're doing. We're going to be going for this area here. I don't know if you can see that. I might move you a little bit. So it's that sort of area towards the back in there that we're going to try and fill up. I'm going to start with the valves at the very back. I'm hoping if I make it bushy enough it'll keep the black ghost knife out um, and then it won't destroy everything. It just won't go in there. But we shall see. The way the technique that I'm going to use is I've got my aquascaping tweezers here. I'm just going to take them by the roots, put them in into the substrate, give them a bit of a twist, and then pull out. And it should, in theory, stay where it is. So we're done pretty much, all we've got left to do is wipe down the glass, so I've got my Wishy Wash and GBL cleaning spray that I keep down here, um, this is some great stuff, um, a lot cheaper than what I was using before which was the um, ATM Mirage I think it was called, yeah, um, but this stuff just as good if not better, smells a little bit nicer as well, but a lot cheaper. Um, and you get these wish wash cloths from JBL. I'll put links to all this down in the description. Um, just give it a couple of squirts. It gets all the water spots off that I've left by being a clumsy oaf. And give it a quick wipe. And we should be done. Um, I've not done a proper deep clean or anything like that. I've just added all the plants as I wanted to. Um, I do need to get a little bit more sand for this. Because over time down here we've kind of lost out on some of the sand because I had the the output to the sump pump here comes down here and blows all the sand away uh, and I've lost some to the sump and to the filtration and stuff so I just need to sort that out and top that back up but overall I'm kind of happy with how this looks it's not quite what I had in my mind when I started but I'm more than happy with it so I, I'm quite happy, I think that looks good. It might be something that I come back to in a couple of weeks and I'm not quite happy with, but I like the way the the Crispolata balance spreads out and kind of reaches its fingers out. Um, overall, it's a good look. So I thought that's a nice easy way to, a mini upgrade if you like, a mini overhaul. Change it around a bit and still 
it's got quite an impact. So let me know in the comments what you think of my little mini makeover. Um, a nice cheap way to make a bit of a difference and freshen things up without needing to go out to the shops because that's difficult these days. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what ideas you have. Um, any future things that you want to know about. Discus plants and discus tanks are often a, a thing that I've discussed on the internet. It's been really hard, but it's more about picking the right species. Uh, and I know a little bit about it because I've picked mostly the wrong species over the years. So now I know what works. It's the crypts, it's the swords. It's those sort of things that can handle the heat and the temperatures. I have had success with Java Fern in the past, but they tend to not like the light in my experience. Even though I foolishly do keep trying them, they just never worked for me. This tank itself is running really well. As I say, I've had months without it being any any spots of algae or anything like that been completely fine i do run a dozer now which i think makes a hell of a difference so this is the sump underneath um, and this is my um, two-stage dozer here so i've got my fertilizers down here i want to add some extra iron and then just a complete one and then every day it adds in a little bit through these pumps and i think it's that consistency that's actually getting me the good results and um, i do run co2 on this tank as well but yeah that definitely makes a difference, so I would recommend looking into that. I have made a video on that, um, have a look up in the corner, whatever corner it's in. I'll put a link to that video, you can go and check that out. This thing is running absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, so I couldn't be happier. So, if you enjoy this sort of thing, click that subscribe button down there, it really helps me out. Leave me a like, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, it, all, it all helps. If you are interested, you can even click the join button, which should be down here somewhere. You can become a member of the Aquarium Adventures crew. You can join us in live streams, you get extra icons and emojis and things like that. But more importantly, I'm going to start doing some shorts, um, which will be kind of a regular, regular kind of updates and tips and tricks and things like that that I can just do off the fly, which I'll be releasing for members first. So I'm going to trial it first, see what the members think, and then we'll probably start releasing them to everyone a bit later on. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.